Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Francesca and today we'll be getting in this morning class focus on heart opening and back bend. So when you're ready, let's start in a child's pose. Widen the knees and lower the floor down on the mat as you extend the arms out and long. Taking this moment to arrive in the space, to arrive in the mat. Start to focus the attention to the breathing. As you do a scan of your body from the crown of the head all the way down to the feet. Focusing your mind on being here, present, in this moment. And start to take long deep breath in and out through the nose. Long inside the inner in. Slow and controlled exhale out. And start to run through the spine as you lift the glutes up, coming to a tabletop position. Open through the chest, look up, take a deep breath in through the nose and as you exhale, hips up and back, coming back into a child's pose. And keep doing this movement at your own pace as you warm up through the spine, releasing any tension from the chest, from your back, focusing on mobilizing your upper spine, so the part of your spine that is less mobile on heart opening. Let's do two more rounding as you come forward, open through the chest, look up, take a deep breath in through the nose, coming back into child's pose. And last one, running through the spine, coming forward, open through the chest. And from here, hold it here and start to do any other movement that could be moving the head, the hips. Adding a more creative movement, a more free movement to your body. And come back into a neutral position, take your toes, lift the knees and send the hips up and back for your first down dog. And see if you want to add any movement here, maybe pedaling through the legs as you bend one knee and then the other one. Focusing on lengthening through the back of the leg, maybe warming up the feet as you place the weight on the left toes, as you extend both legs. And then back, coming back to the center, and then this time focusing on the right foot. Placing the weight on the front of the foot, maybe bending through the left knee as you extend the left right leg. Come back into down dog, bend the knees, take a deep breath in. And start to walk with the hands towards your feet, coming towards the end of the mat into a forward fold. Once you get there, soften the knees, hold the opposite elbows and gently swing side to side. Align the head to be heavy. Shifting the weight a little bit more on your toes, deeper in and out through the nose. One last deep breath here. And as you exhale, drop the hands towards the ground and very slowly start to unroll the spine, resting up on vertebra after the other one. Once you get up with the head, reach over the head with the arms, take a deep breath in through the nose, gentle back bend, open through the chest, lengthen. And as you exhale, release the dasana mountain pose, hands in a prayer position. Open the eyes and reach up with the arms, take a deep breath in through the nose, lengthening arch. Exhale, fold uttanasana, fold with fold. Halfway left, lengthen, open through the chest, arch, deeper in. And then as you exhale, bend, forward, fold. Again, halfway left, open through the chest, engaging the space in between the shoulder blades. Exhale, bend. One more like this, halfway left, open through the chest, activating, lengthening. And as you exhale, fold hands down on the ground. And we're going to reach up with the right arm as you extend the right leg, bending the left leg, twisting towards the right side. Option to keep the right arm up, otherwise you can find the left hip with the right hand. And then release both hands down on the ground and let's repeat on the other side, left arm up, look up, lengthen. Bending the right leg, extending the left leg, maybe holding on to the right hip, open through the chest and lengthening here. Release the hands back down on the floor and start to walk forward with the hands coming into a down dog, sending the hips up and back, deeper in and out through the nose. Then run through the spine and come into plank, gently swinging back and forth a few times. And as you exhale, back to down dog. And keep repeating this movement at your own pace, focusing on opening through the chest and activating the core. Moving it in down dog and plank. Keep in and as you come forward. And as you exhale, back. We're going to do one last like this, coming forward into plank. 
And this one, drop the hips down towards the ground, open through the chest, look up, and as you exhale, hips up and back. Again, rounding, coming forward, lowering the hips down on the mat, open through the chest, look up, hips up and back. One more like this, coming forward, hips down, open through the chest, lengthen, look up. And as you exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Separate the feet a little bit more, open through the chest, find stillness in your down dog. And then lift the right leg up, three leg down dog. As you exhale, knee to right elbow. And back up into a three leg down dog. Knee to right elbow again. Back to down dog. Last one. Knee to right elbow and pose here for a moment. And then start to lower and lift the knee. Keeping it as close as possible. And then as you exhale, step with the right foot outside of the right hand for a lizard lunge. You got the option to lower the back knee down on the mat. Maybe keeping the weight on the hands or maybe lowering the floor down on the mat as you keep the head very heavy. Any option you choose is completely fine and wherever you are just keep breathing, sending the breath in your hip, focusing on lengthening here. Keeping the chest open so without running through the spine, deep breath in and out through the nose. Now start to straighten the right leg, come into half split. Holding here, deep breath in, as you keep the leg engaged and active. Right foot flexed. And as you exhale, bend again the right leg. Then heel to the right foot at the center of the mat, take your left toe, lift the knee of the mat and twist. Reaching up with the right arm, look up, lengthen. Rise up with the both arms, take a deep breath in through the nose, come into a crescent lunge. Bending through the front leg, reaching up and back with the hands, take a deep breath in through the nose. And a deep sigh out through the mouth. Bring the hands on your hips as you straighten both legs, guiding the back leg a little bit closer, then reach up with your arms, look up, lengthen. And as you exhale, create two fists, hands behind the back, open through the chest, lengthen, exhale, fold, come into a pyramid pose. Allowing the head to be heavy, lengthening here as you keep both legs active and engaged. Deep breath in and out through the nose. And keeping the arms as they are, start to shift the way forward, coming to a warrior three, lifting the back leg of the mat. But if you need, you can always release and bring the hands into a prayer position. And with control, release the hands down on the mat, come into a standing split, kicking up and back with the left foot. Allowing the head to be heavy and lengthening here. And with control, start to step back with the left foot, come into a warrior two. Gaze follows the right hand, shoulders relaxed. Then rotate the right palm towards the ceiling as you bring the arm over the head. Come into a reverse warrior, lengthening here, deep breath in and out through the nose. And as you exhale, rise back up. Extend both legs as you bend the left leg, coming to Skandasana at the end of the mat. Bring the hands into a prayer position, using the left elbow to open the left knee. Starting to make your way back towards the top of the mat, left and down, right arm up, look up, lengthen. And as you exhale, step back into a side plank. You can modify into a supported side plank if you need to, without any problem. Wherever you are, hold on to the balance. And then as you exhale, release the right hand down on the mat for plank, going through your chaturanga, bend your elbows. Open the chest, cobra up dog. And as you exhale, roll over your toes back to down dog, take a deep breath in through the nose. And then a deep side through the mouth. Finding stillness for a moment. Then lift the left leg up, three leg down dog, and as you exhale, knee to left elbow. Let's repeat it again. As you exhale, knee to left elbow, and back into a three leg down dog. One last time, knee to left elbow, posing here, and lower and lift the elbow. Keep engaging the core. Then as you exhale, step with the left foot outside of the left hand for lizard lunge. Option to keep the back knee lifted as you open through the chest. Option to stay with the weight on the hands or maybe lowering the forearm down. Wherever you are, doesn't matter, but just focus on opening through the chest. As you gently push in forward with the hips, focusing on opening through the left knee as well. Make sure you use the breath here to create space in the body and to relax your mind. Then lift the back knee off the mat and reach up with the left arm. Take a deep breath in through the nose as you twist. And then as you exhale, rise up, guiding the arms over the head. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Come into a crescent lunge. Keep reaching up with the arms, deep breath in and out through the nose, holding onto the balance. Then guide the back leg a little bit closer, extending both legs, reaching up with the arms, take a deep breath in through the nose and create two fists again, open through the chest, lengthen, arch. And as you exhale, fold into a pyramid pose. 
Guided belly towards the thighs, you keep lengthening from the crown of the head, keeping both feet active and legs engaged. Using the breath maybe to go a little bit deeper, deeper in and out through the nose. Then shift the weight forward, lifting the back leg off the mat, coming to a warrior of three. Have option to keep the hands in a prayer position as well. Whatever you prefer for your balance. And then as you exhale, release both hands down on the mat, coming to a standing split. Allowing the head to be heavy, lengthen here, deep breath in and out through the nose. Then step back with the right foot, coming to a warrior two. Now rotate the left palm towards the ceiling, reaching over the head, coming to a reverse warrior, lengthening the side of the body. Rise back up, extending the left leg, bend the right leg for Skandasana, using the right elbow to open through the right knee. Deep breath in and out through the nose. And start to make your way back towards the top of the mat, right hand on the ground, left arm up, twisting towards the left side, gaze up. Starting to come to the night edge of both feet, step back into a side plank. Option to modify into a support as a plank wherever you are is completely fine, just keep breathing here. And as you exhale, release, making your way back into plank, chaturanga. Lowering all the way down on the ground, move the hips side to side. Then cross the hands behind the back, keep the palms together and lift the head, shoulder and feet off the mat for locust pose. Activating the entire back of your body. Keeping the gaze to a steady point, finding your constant and steady breathing. And as you exhale, release, drawing down, take a moment in stillness, and as you exhale, make your way into a child's pose as you round through the spine. As you lower the fall down on the mat, taking this moment to slow the breathing down, to slow the heartbeat down, as you reconnect and slow down. Let's stay here for one more deep breath. And then very slowly start to rise back up, make your way back into a down dog, send these hips up and back, deep breath in and up through the nose. Lift the right leg up for a three leg down dog, reaching up with the right foot. And as you exhale, step forward, right foot in between the hands, reach up with the right arm, twisting. Then rise up, holding onto the twist, keeping the gaze towards the right hand, coming to a twisted high lunge. Lower the right hand towards the left leg as you reach over the head with the left arm, lengthening the side of the body. And as you exhale, release, coming to a high lunge, open through the chest, look up, take a deeper in through the nose, lengthen. As you exhale, straighten both legs, coming again into a pyramid pose. This time keeping the hands down on the mat, but if it's not accessible, you can keep the hands on your hips. Keeping both legs active and engaged and forward fold, allowing your spine to lengthen. Then shift the weight forward onto the right leg and lift the left leg up, coming to a standing split. Lengthening here, deep breath in and out through the nose. And with control, rising up, hands into a prayer position, transitioning to a warrior three. Holding onto the balance. Then guide the left knee to the chest, coming to one leg tadasana, lifting the left knee as high as possible. Right hand finds the left knee and twist towards the left side, extending the left arm behind you. Make your way back to the center and step back into a warrior two gaze follows the right hand, shoulders relaxed. Reverse warrior, rotate the right palm towards the ceiling, this time wrapping the left arm behind the back, lengthening the side of the body deeper in and out through the nose. Then make your way back into Skandasana, so we've been here before, extend the right leg and bend the left leg. Option to separate the hands, left hand down on the mat, right arm up, twist. Back to the center, walking with the hands at the center of the mat, coming to a forward fold prasarita. Hands are heavy, rotate it to slightly in, shifting the weight a little bit more on your toes, deeper in and up through the nose. Staying here for one last deep breath. Now start to walk towards the top of the mat. Bring the right hand on that right leg and reach up with the left arm, send the gaze up towards the ceiling for three konasana, lengthening the side of the body. Keep opening through the chest and the shoulder. Then shift the gaze forward, lifting the back leg of the mat for half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Option to stay here, otherwise you can bend the top leg as you get the heel to the glute, finding the left foot. And once you find the foot, start to kick up and away for Chapasana. 
die breath in and out through the nose, finding the constant and steady kick. And then release. Take a big step back, left foot down on the mat, right arm up, twisting towards the right side. And as you exhale, step back, come into one thing. Lower the right foot over the left leg and reach over the head with the right arm as you open through the chest, lengthening here, deep breath in and out through the nose. Then as you exhale, make your way back into plank, going through your chaturanga, bend your elbows. Open the chest, cobra up dog. And as you exhale, roll over your chest back to the dog, take a deep breath in through the nose. And a deep sigh out through the mouth. Then lift the left leg up for a three-leg down dog. Then as you exhale, step forward, left foot in between the hands and rise up with the right left arm. Gaze up towards the left hand. Hold onto the balance and then rise up with the chest. As you keep your twist, gaze, keep following the left hand. Reach over the head with the right arm now as you lower the left hand towards the right leg, lengthening the side of the body. Then come back to the center, bring the arms over the head, come into a crescent lunge. Cross the fingers, point the index up as you open through the chest. And as you exhale, release, extend both legs, come into pyramid pose, maybe getting the back leg a little bit closer. Hands on the ground as you allow the head to be heavy. You got the option to bring the hands on the hips as well. And shift the way forward, standing split, kicking up with the right foot. Weight shifts on the left foot. Find your balance as you rise up with the chest, bring the hands into a prayer position, come into a warrior three. Keeping the gaze to a steady point, keep lengthening from the crown of the head. Then rise up with the chest, guiding the right leg to the chest. Hold onto the right knee with the left hand, then extend the right arm out and long. Gaze follows the right hand. As you keep to twist here, then come back to the center, transitioning back into a warrior three first and then warrior two. Gaze follows the left hand, take a deeper in through the nose and as you exhale, reverse warrior, reaching over the head with the left arm. Then rise back up, skandhasana, bending the right leg, extending the left leg, hands in a prayer position. Releasing from skandhasana, hands on the ground, rotating the toes slightly in, coming to prasarita. And using the help of the hands to go a little bit deeper. Maybe walking slightly more behind with the hands as you allow the head to be heavy. As you shift the weight a little bit more on your toes. Deeper in and out through the nose. Then start to walk forward with the hands again. As you rotate the left foot towards the top of the mat, the left hand comes on top of the left leg, right arm up, Trikonasana. Keeping the chest open, the shoulders open, deeper in and out through the nose. And shift the gaze towards the top of the mat, transitioning to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, keeping the hips open to the side, reaching up with the right foot. Option to stay here to find Chapasana bind. Bend the right leg, getting the heel to the glute, hold onto the foot and start to kick up and away. Finding the constant and steady kick. One more deep breath here. And then as you exhale, release, take a big step back. Right hand down on the mat, left arm reaches up, look up, deep in for the nurse, lengthen. As you exhale, step back into one thing, left foot reaches over the right leg. Reach over the head with the left arm as you open through the chest and arch. Then as you exhale, make your way back into plank and lower all the way down on the ground. Move the hips side to side as you release any tension from your back. And when you're ready, bend both legs, come into bow pose, so hold on to the ankle and start to kick up and away with the feet as you lift the head and shoulder off the ground. If you notice this isn't too intense, you can always modify and come into locus pose, which we did before. Wherever you are is fine, and as you exhale, start to lower all the way down, starting to make your way again into a child's pose. Lowering the forehead down on the mat, running through the spine. As you slowly bring down the heart, be down. Taking this moment in stillness as we approach the end of the practice. Allowing the body to relax, the mind to be focused again on the breath. As you take this moment to show gratitude towards yourself and your body for this practice. And you can stay here in child's pose for as long as you like, giving time to your body to take in all the benefits of this practice before you get on with the rest of your day.
And if you're ready to end the practice here, start to slowly open your eyes and awaken the body again. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon.